Hey guys, uh, so in the previous session, we got to running queries. Um, we stopped at a point where we weren't able to get, uh, you know, the shortcuts working. So I spent some time uh, looking at the documentation and, um, you know, looking at how I could get it working. Uh, and uh, I've set it up uh, so that, you know, you can uh, type a query and hit control enter and it executes uh, and it executes it. So let me quickly show you how that's done. So uh, to look at this, we first go to page live HTML. And uh, if you look at this, now the text area has um, uh, two, two attributes. One is a Phoenix key and the other is a Phoenix key up. So what this does is, uh, so Phoenix key up is the event. So what we're saying here is, whenever a key up event happens, we want it to um, run the execute handle, uh, you know, event handler on the server. Uh, but we don't want that to happen on every uh, key press, right? We don't want it, uh, it to happen when the user is typing out the query, right? So we, we only want that to happen when the user hits control enter. So the way we're doing it here is we're saying send this event to the server only when enter is, you know, one of the keys. Mm -hmm. um, the, the other thing uh, that I had to, you know, look at was, um, you know, when you hit enter, you know, it's going to send that event. But we don't want to do it when you hit enter. We want to do it when you hit control enter. Um, the way to do it is, um, you know, if you look at the Phoenix documentation, the live view documentation, uh, uh, you can uh, go to the live socket constructor and set up the metadata so that, right, so here we're setting up the metadata so that whenever a key up event is sent, it's going to run this, um, you know, function and get whatever metadata we create in this as part of this function and merge that into the event data that's sent to the server. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to say answer is 42, right? So that's like a new key, the new, uh, a new, uh, you know, a key we added in the event, right? So if you go to the server, right? Now, whenever I press uh, foo and enter that event is going to be sent to the server and if you look at that it says this event is not handled uh, because we've set it up so that it's only handled when you press control enter but if you also look at the params it has an answer 42 because uh, we've we've set it up in such a way that you know whenever a key up is sent it's also going to come look at this you know execute this callback and merge that with um, you know with the params uh, it's gonna send. So uh, we're gonna remove this. And what we're doing here is we're we're sending a key, which it, you know it would send even before you know doing all of this. And we're also saying sending if it were if the meta key was pressed during this, and the control key was pressed during this. So two more attributes are being sent to the server, right? So a meta key is the Windows key or the command key on. Mac and control key is a control key. So we're sending those two extra attributes. Now on the server side, um, if you go to page live, uh, we've got the handle event callback. And what we have here is we're saying when this execute action is called and when the control key and uh, the meta key are both true. Yeah, so, oh, we're saying when one of those is true. So this is going to execute when you hit. Um, so if I say select now and uh, hit Windows Enter or Control Enter, it's going to execute that query on the server. And that's how we do it, right? And uh, what we do here is, you know, just to, you know, dry up this code a little bit, we, we're, we're actually calling um, a function called execute and assign. Uh, which executes a query and, uh, you know, does the assignment. Um, so if uh, we also have some error handling, so if we have an error, looks like we didn't set that up properly. So uh, if you go to the server, uh, 
it says query error but it doesn't uh, so query uh, where's the query error yeah so this is a query error it's uh, logging it in the debug log but it's uh, it isn't being handled properly so let's put some logging here right so uh, what is the error and uh, inspect x right uh, and uh, just say ff uh, control enter look at what's being logged it says uh, so it's actually hitting that point in uh, you know that line but um, and uh, the error has a message which is nil oh so the error has a message which is nil um, so what we're doing here is we're taking the error and we are assigning it uh, we're taking the message and we're assigning it uh, as the error so um, so if we try to look at this struct right so just gonna try and create that struct so that's the error and uh, if we do a two string on that what do we get now that's not what i want uh postgrex uh, error does it have any functions uh, error no documentation uh it doesn't export anything uh it exports a message so message error oh so that's good like that's a good message um, syntax error near da 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 da. That's like that's perfect. That's what we want, right? So instead of just uh, you know you know extracting the message from the struct, we should be doing this. So postgrex error dot message because right? that guy knows how to extract the right message. So if I say ff and hit control enter, oh now it's actually failing. Uh, it says uh function nil dot postgres is undefined in the error uh, oh so error is nil here what oh we're saying ex dot message it should be ex right we should be sending it the full struct not the nil message so now it says error syntax error uh at or near rr query so this is perfect <laughs> So if we go to page live HTML, look how look at how we're rendering it. Yeah. So what we have is like we have this extra if condition where we're saying if error uh, do, and we're just using some styling and just rendering that error. Right. So perfect. So if I say select now and run the query, it says undefined column now does not exist. And if I say select uh, star comma foo from users, um, column foo does not exist. Awesome. This is this is cool. Um, so now if I say select star from users, it renders the users table. So this is perfect. 